How do we know how much we should pay when it comes to our electricity or water bill? That's what we're going to talk about today. Hi there, thank you for checking out my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. If this is the first video you're watching from my channel, I make educational and motivational content. So if you don't want to miss any of my new uploads, don't forget to hit subscribe and hit that bell icon. Now, like I said in the intro kanina, pag-uusapan natin yung paano i-calculate yung bill ninyo based dun sa kilowatt hours or kung ano yung consumo nyo naman din sa water bills. Uh, this is actually a topic na request ninyo sa akin. So uh, kung meron din kayong ibang topics na gusto nyo natin i-cover, Comment na lang din sa baba, alright? But before we do that, just a quick little plug. If you want to help support this channel and our cause to democratize education in the Philippines, one way that you can do that is through being a channel member. If you're watching this on YouTube, you can click right here for information about how to be a channel member. Sa lahat ng mga channel members, rookies, and MVPs natin right now, maraming salamat sa inyo. You will find them kasi meron silang logo ng Team Laika right beside their name. And they can also use yung mga special icons natin whenever we go live or sa mga comments nila. So sa inyong lahat, maraming salamat because your support really goes a long way keeping the lights on dito sa ating operation. And of course, in funding yung mga scholars din natin and everything that we do for the team, for the country, and for everyone who comes across yung mga educational content natin. All right? And now that we have that out of the way, I'm going to switch over to my tablet. I'll see you in a bit. Alright, ito yung lesson natin on meter reading and bill computation. I know na part siya ng MELCs for students, kaya pag-uusapan natin ito. Pero if you are someone who likes learning din and gusto ninyong matutunan kung paano kinukuha yung calculation ng inyong monthly bills sa tubig, sa kuryente, this is a good way to go. Okay? Now, uh, I need to stress that this works in three steps. Iisa-isahin natin yan. Okay? First step is to learn how to read the meter. Ituturo ko yan sa inyo ngayon. Now, the next step would be comparing the readings. Kasi ibabangga natin yung reading natin for that month dun sa naging reading last month. And then after that, of course, yung simple na calculation kapag i-compute na natin yung bill. There are more complicated problems than the one that I'm going to give you. Minsan may mga ladder. Uh, ibig sabihin kung naabot mo tong number ng kilowatt hours na to, magiging ganito yung price mo per kilowatt hour. Meron ding mga calculations na more on yung threshold, yung location, etc. Pero for this particular video, since it's the first one, pag-uusapan natin muna yung kung paano magbasa ng meter. Okay? Na ano ba yung itsura ng metro? If uh, lalabas kayo sa bahay ninyo, o kaya if titignan ninyo yung dun sa neighborhood, usually you would find meters na may mga dials na ganito. Okay? So may mga faces siya na parang sarelo. And the way na binabasa siya works like this. First thing na you need to understand is, titignan natin kung saan nakaturo yung arrow. Now, if yung arrow is pointing directly at the number, you just have to record that number. Kung sakali naman na yung arrow is in between two numbers, i-record mo yung smaller number of the two. Now, how does this work? Let's start with this first dial. Dito sa dial na to, makikita ninyo na nakatapat siya talaga doon sa two. Okay? So, direkta siyang nakatapat doon sa two na number. So, yun yung gagamitin na natin dito sa first na digit. So, you have two. Sa second na dial, hindi siya parehong-pareho kasi nakaturo siya dun sa gitna. Okay? So, kung i-stretch natin yung arrow, it will be somewhere here. It's between 1 and 2. Now, ang rule natin again is if nasa pagitan siya ng dalawang numbers, you have to record the smaller number. The idea is kasi hindi siya umabot dun sa 2. Okay? So, lagi siyang kumbaga round down. Now, 1 and 2, yung numbers na ito, so, ang mas maliit na number sa 1 and 2 ay 1. Kaya yun yung i-record natin na number 1. Now, all you have to do is to do the same for the rest. Minsan apat yan, minsan lima. Titinan lang natin again. Ito, stretching down. Pagitan ng 5 and 6. Mas maliit na number ang 5. So, ang ilalagay natin ay 5. Now, yung next, we have the dial pointing directly sa 3. So, ilalagay lang natin 3. 
And yung last, you have the dial pointing. Sa four, medyo konting lagpas kung talagang i-drawing natin. But it doesn't matter kasi ang importante na sa four siya. So, dun tayo sa four. Kasi kahit na igalaw natin ng konti ito, di ba? Mas maliit pa rin na number yung four kaysa sa five. So, ang basa dito is 21534 or 21,534. So, so far, again, simula nung unang nireset itong inyong metro, meron ng 21,534 kilowatt hours na konsumo. Kung baga, yun yung ating inakabasis. Now, hindi ito yung babayaran mo. Okay? We need to stress that. Because the next step, again, is comparing readings. Now, how do you do that? When it comes to meter readings, kailangan natin tingnan kung ano yung konsumo dun sa unang buwan at dun sa buwan na kasunod. So, kung ito yung April was, for example lang ha, last month, ibabangga natin yung naging galaw nung dial hanggang naging May. Now, simulan natin. Okay? If you can see this, ito yung pa rin yung kanina. So, you have 2, 1, 5, 3, 4. Okay. Now, yan 2, 1, 5, 3, 4, 21,534. Ilalagay lang natin siya. 2, 1, 5, 3, 4. Now, the idea is, dito magsisimula yung konsumo mula sa dulo ng April or sa huling reading hanggang sa susunod na reading. So, ibig sabihin, gagalaw na siya sa bawat gamit mo ng kuryente for the next month. Now, saan siya nag-land nung dulo ng May or dun sa susunod mong reading? Iisa-isa hindi natin ang lahat ng ito. I'll use a different color para mas visual. You have this first dial, nasa pagitan siya ng 2 and 3. So again, mas mababang number ang 2. It's the same principle na ginawa natin kanina. This is somewhere in between 3 and 4. Mas mababa yung 3, so 3. Ito ay 5. This one, between 7 and 8, so 7. And then here, you have it between 8 and 9, so 8. So, ibig sabihin nun, natapos siya sa April ng 21,534, natapos siya sa May ng 23,578. Now, anong gagawin natin next? Now, since ang May ay mas recent kaysa dun sa April, at ang hinahanap natin ay yung, yung konsumo sa buwan ng May, ang gagawin mo would be, ima-minus mo sa kanya yung recording or reading dun sa May. So, ima-minus lang natin dito, minus 21,534. Okay? Now, ito ay classic na subtraction lang. Kung nakalimutan nyo na yun, inilink ko na lang din yung video lesson natin sa subtraction sa, sa i button if you're watching on YouTube at sa description box sa baba. 8 minus 4 is 4. 7 minus 3 is 4. 5 minus 5 is 0. 3 minus 1 is 2. 2 minus 2 is 0. So, ang difference niya ay 2,044. Which means, dun sa buwan ng May, dahil itong ginalaw ng metro, nakakonsumo ka ng 2,044 kilowatt hours. Okay? Now, the next step would be to compute yung bill mismo. For that to happen, kailangan natin malaman yung rate per kilowatt hour. Now, if the rate is 8.5 pesos per kilowatt hour, how much will their me bill cost? Now, ang difference kanina na nakuha natin is 2,044. Now, all we need to do is to multiply this with yung rate in pesos. So, that is 8.5 para makuha natin yung kanyang babayaran. Okay? So again, this is just, just multiplication. 4 times 5 is 20. This is another 20 plus 2, so 22. 2, this is 0 plus 2, which is 2. 2 times 5 is 10. Next, you have 4 times 8, 8, 16, 24, 32. You carry lang natin din dyan. 4 times 8, 32 plus 3 is 35. Carry it ulit tayo dyan. 0 times 8 is 0 plus 3. That's 3. 2 times 8 is 16. Okay? So, i-add lang natin ito. 0. This is just, ano ha, long, long multiplication lang to. So, you have 4, 7, 3, 7, and 1. Okay? Now, dahil meron tayong isang decimal 
point dito or may isang decimal place dito, gagawin natin, gagalaw din natin yung decimal place ng final answer once. So, ibig sabihin nun, ang sagot natin is in pesos ito, 17,374 pesos. Yan, ang mahal naman ng kanilang electric bill. Siguro, laging nakabukas yung kanilang aircon. Alright? Alright, now makikita natin if you learned kung ano yung kailangan yung gawin. Again, in reading the meter, comparing yung dalawang readings, and in computing yung bill, through a quick quiz right here. I'm going to give you time and the, just take out your pen and paper para masagutan ninyo ito and your timer starts now. Alright, let's see how you did. So, let's start with yung first step, which is babasahin lang natin yung mga meter. Okay? Dun sa una, you have this arrow right here, pagitan ng 3 and 4, so that's 3. Ito rin, pagitan din ng 3 and 4, lagay natin ng 3. Ito, pagitan ng 0 and 1, so 0. This is 5, and then this is 0. Yung sumunod naman, you have, again, asa pagitan siya ng 3 and 4, that's still 3. Ito naman ay 6 and 7. So, this is 6. Dito, you have 3 and 4. You have 3. 7 and 8. So, 7. Dito, 7 din. Now, ang first step natin again, minus natin siya. So, 3, 6, 3, 7, 7. Minus yung 3, 3, 0, 5, 0. Okay? So, ito ang lalabas na dito would be 7, 2, 3,327. Three, 3, Tapos yung 3,327, ang rate daw ay 7.25 pesos. So, i-multiply lang natin siya sa 7.25. Okay? Now, that should give you 24,120.75. So, ibig sabihin nun, ang sagot, 24,120 pesos and 75 cents. Alright? Now, I hope you got this right. If nakulangan ng oras ng kaunti sa pag-multiply, that's okay. Again, you can hit pause naman kung gusto nyo balikan ng lesson na ito. And if you want me to make more exercises or create a worksheet about it para ma-post natin sa teamlaika.com, let me know in the comment section sa baba. At kung matatapos ko yun, makikita nyo na yung link doon dun sa description box below. Alright? Now, if you want more exercises, I'll be posting more questions then in my Instagram account. So, if you don't follow me yet, you can follow me at like a Maravilla on Instagram for the new quick quiz questions. Pinapost natin yan sa ating Instagram stories. And uh, if you want the quick, quick quiz throwback questions naman, you can find it sa at Team Laika on Instagram Then including yung mga updates natin, announcements ng events, at iba pa. If you're on TikTok, you can also find me at Team Laika on TikTok for the educational content. May mga quick quiz questions din tayo dun at marami pang iba. And if you want to get to know me a little bit better, yung personal account ko naman is at Laika Maravilla. On TikTok for the motivational videos, tips, advice, skits, at iba pa. Alright? I'll see you, see you next time and I'll see you online. Alright, I hope you learned something today. If you did, click thumbs up. Make sure that you share this video with your friends. Alam na kung mag-exam din sila. Lalo na kung kinocover nyo to sa school. Or if you're a parent and you know that other parents are going to have to teach this sa inyong mga estudyante sa bahay. You're free to share them with your friends. And if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe na. Hit that bell icon. We have more videos coming up. If you want to get a hold of the reviewers that I made, join the online or live review events, you can go to the www www.facebook.com slash teamlaika for more information. Message nyo lang kami sa Facebook page so we can assist you throughout the entire process. And maraming salamat sa inyong lahat. As we always say sa channel na to, never stop learning. Adja, adja. Kaya niyan. See you in my next video. And bye for now.
All right, thank you for watching until the end of the video. If you want one more video lesson, there's one right here that you can watch. And if you want to get to know me naman a little bit better, my second channel, my vlogging channel is right here. Go ahead and subscribe to that and see what happens behind the scenes. All right, see you online.